Hello and welcome to another demo regarding product costing. This demo is related to cost estimate without quantity structure. So, before starting with the demo, I want to show you some basic customizing that you had to consider before the estimation. Okay, so let's start with, with the first customizing and it's related to assignment uh, between company code and plant and controlling array to company code. So I want to show you in the screen. Okay, assignment plant to company code uh, it's 1000 to 1000. So for I want to I want to use 1000 and 1000. Second assignment is company code to controlling area. In my in my case is also 1000. And I want to show you that the company code is assigned to the controlling area. Okay, so at the moment uh, the plant is assigned to the company code 1000 and the company code is assigned to the controlling area 1000. So at the moment uh, I, I am ready to create a cost estimation in the plant 1000 with the company code with the controlling area 1000. Okay, the first first customizing. Second customizing that we have to consider is the cost component structure. So let, let's go ahead and I want to show you in the screen how to how to check this cost component structure. This component structure uh, map the cost elements with the cost component structure and I want to show you in the screen how can you map them okay so for the cost controlling is uh, I'm still in customizing controlling basic product cost planning and basic setting for material costing define cost component structure my cost component structure is sita sita so I want to show you direct material and miscellaneous for my 1000. Okay, I want to show you for the chart of account 1000. Okay, so here, here they are. Okay. So let's go back and I want to show you another another thing. The automatic uh, account determination, which is OBIC. This is very a uh, very important code. So a very important code. Okay, this is the T code for automatic um, account determination in post in, in post regarding material management. Okay, so the our transaction will be DPP. My chart of accounts is one thousand. Okay, let's accept. And I have the term that my account will be five to five one and zero one zero zero zero. Okay, so I have set no changes because I have already set 
and go back. Okay, I want to show you one, one cost estimate I, I have already done and I want to show you how, how I did it. Okay, I have a cost industry, uh, how I did here, you go to, to this, this transaction, TKUC, I have already created a cost estimate, okay, this is my, my cost estimation. And as long as you don't have um, access to, to bill of materials and routines, you have to put by hand all, all, the, all the components. And I want to show you what kind of component you can find, okay? You can find base planning object, internal activity, external activity, subcontracting, mat another material. In this case, I have I have added, added another material, a service. But this these are all objects related to material management, to MM. That uh, should be ready in your system, but for. Um, Doing a short demo, I want to show you two, two kind of, of elements, which are variable item and material, vale? but you can, you can add whichever other category you want. Okay, so for, for my example, I, I added uh, two variable variable um, components, okay. Um, directly the, the the price is already estimated, and another material. One of the other material I I have added. And you can see that um, you have to add the, the resource is the name of the material. Plant. Uh, this this is the same with with another kind of components. Okay, the description. I ha I haven't add uh, description in the other, but there's okay. The price. The price. You have when you create the material master data. You have to put. An initial price, okay. So this is this is my initial price, and the, the cost element, okay. So this is this is all, okay. And um, um, you can you can also um, explode a cost estimation. That means that if I have, if I add this material one 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 to another cost estimation, cost estimation, I can't explode it. Okay, and to do it, explode uh, like like the other demo is is the same the same function. You do explode material cost estimate. Okay, that means that, that all these components, that it extracts all these components and put in, into your cost estimation. Okay, that helps for change of material, for change of amounts. Um, and this is very useful for, for me. Okay, so my total estimation is 93. Point O, I in your error. Okay, but let's check it to the, to the left side. See the, this this demo this this symbol is raw material because I have already used a, a raw material for, for my estimation, and this is this is the symbol. Uh, for me, in this demo is already finished. 
And for the next demo, I want to show you a cost estimation with quantity structure, which is a little bit more difficult in my side because I have to create a written and bill of materials. And I hope uh, you like this demo. I shall see you on LinkedIn and see you on YouTube. Thank you so much for, for everything. And if you have any questions regarding product costing, please ask me. Thank you so much.